Hey everyone, welcome back to tip for You DIY. Today we're unboxing and taking a look at both the outside and inside of this auto ranging digital multimeter. I'll give you a quick review and let you know if it's worth getting. It's a super handy tool for anyone working on electronics or DIY circuit projects. This multimeter is manufactured by a Chinese company called ANENG and the model is M113. The box itself isn't anything fancy, but it includes the two most important things, the digital multimeter and a pair of test probes. It also comes with a user manual in both English and Chinese. This is an auto-ranging digital multimeter, which means there's no need to manually select the measurement range. It's designed especially for beginners with a focus on being easy to use, safe, accurate, and convenient. The overall design is compact, lightweight, and sturdy perfect for carrying around when you need to repair devices in different locations. The first standout feature of this multimeter is its auto. This means you no longer have to manually select the correct range like with traditional multimeters, just plug in the test probes and read the result. It's super convenient, especially for beginners who aren't yet familiar with choosing between voltage, current, or resistance ranges. What makes it great for beginners is the clean, simple interface. Not too many buttons, nothing confusing, just a few tries and you'll be using it like a pro. The multimeter supports all the essential functions you'd expect, AC and DC voltage measurement perfect for checking outlets, adapters, and power supplies. DC current measurement useful for checking how much current your circuits are drawing, continuity test just touch the probes together or across a wire, and if it's connected, you'll hear a beep. Super helpful for checking broken connections. Diode testing useful if you're troubleshooting power supplies or building circuits, and it even has a battery test mode letting you check if your AA, AAA, or button cell batteries still have juice. All of these functions are selected automatically, you don't need to turn any dial or flip a switch. Just plug in the probes and the meter figures it out on its own, pretty smart, right? I'm checking and comparing the power adapter parameters with the parameters on the screen. Please check and let me know what you think. If the video is good and meaningful, please give me a like, a comment, a suggestion, and a subscription to the channel. To give me more motivation to produce more meaningful and practical videos for those of you who love electronics and DIY. Another great feature on this multimeter is non-contact voltage detection, or NCV for short, with this function. You can detect live wires without touching them directly, just bring the top of the meter close to a power outlet or a cable, and it will alert you with a sound if voltage is present. It's a safe and super useful feature. Especially when you're checking wall sockets, extension cords, or circuit breakers, no need to strip wires or connect probes. It is also applied in the feature of detecting wires on the wall with non-contact voltage sensing. Just move the meter head slowly along the wall surface. If there is an exposed wire hidden inside, the multimeter will beep to let you know. This feature is especially useful when you are drilling. Installing shelves or doing any work related to the wall where hidden wires can be dangerous, it adds a layer of safety and you don't need any wires. It is built into your multimeter. Definitely a plus for safety and quick diagnostics. <laughs> this
This multimeter can also measure high AC voltage, like the standard to 120 volts you'll find in most household outlets. Just plug in the probes, and the meter will automatically detect and display the voltage. No need to select AC mode or set the range, it's perfect for safely checking wall sockets, power strips, or electrical appliances, especially in countries where 220 volts is standard. Note that you should not use more than the warning parameter under the power button of the watch. All right, now let's open it up and take a look at what's inside this little powerhouse. Once opened, we immediately see a clean main PCB printed circuit board, neatly laid out and coated with a protective layer to prevent moisture damage. Has LCD screen and rubber buttons, overall nothing special compared to other common multimeters. The key components include main measuring IC. This is the brain of the meter. It receives input signals and decides what kind of measurement to take. This is exactly why the meter can auto detect ranges so intelligently. Over voltage, over current protection circuit usually includes diodes, mini fuses, or varistors to prevent damage if something goes wrong, like plugging into the wrong voltage. These help switch between different measurement modes automatically depending on what you're testing. Ceramic capacitors, electrolytic capacitors, and SMD resistors, these clean up the signal. Filter out noise and help keep readings stable. Overall, the internal build looks very professional. Components are neatly soldered, everything is compact, and the board layout is clean. That explains why this multimeter is stable, accurate, and still surprisingly affordable. One small thing to keep in mind, since this is an auto-ranging meter, it doesn't allow you to manually select a fixed range. So, if you're trying to compare exact values between components, it can be a bit less convenient. But for general use, it's more than enough. One feature I really appreciate is the auto power off function. The meter shuts down automatically after a period of inactivity to save battery. Conclude, this is a very solid choice for beginners. It's easy to use. Definitely a handy little tool to have in your DIY electronics toolkit.